This is the Morning Swim Show for Thursday, January 19th, 2012. I'm your host, Peter Bush. In the Finis Monitor today, we'll talk to Florida State University swimmer Matteo D'Angolo. Right now, he has the top 500 free time in college swimming, and the senior Seminole just swam his last college dual meet. Matteo joins us right now in the Finis Monitor from Tallahassee, Florida. Hey, Matteo, welcome to the Morning Swim Show. How are you? Hey, Peter, how are you? I'm good. Good, thanks. Well, how was the last dual meet? It was fun. I mean, uh, it was a tough weekend. Uh, we swam Florida Atlantic here in Tallahassee on Friday, uh, Friday afternoon. The meet ended at like 6 o'clock in the afternoon, and then we uh, took a bus right after that and uh, headed up to Atlanta to sort of uh, try meet against uh, Georgia Tech and NC State. So, I mean, we were pretty beat up, um, but I think the team performed well. I had some good performances, so uh, I was happy with my last dual meet. Yeah, that's a lot of swimming to pack in your last uh, dual meet weekend. Yeah, uh, it was tough. Uh, definitely fatigued after that, but I think it was a it was a good way to end it. Uh, just uh, being happy about the performances before uh, championship season. Now you have gone a four fifteen in the five hundred this year. From what we could uh, tell, that's a six second drop from your best time. Yeah, what, yeah. What, what's going um, on this senior season to make such a big drop? Well, I think the the amount of work I put in during the summer training for World Championships, and uh, the fact that before the beginning of this season I did an altitude training camp uh, back in Colombia with the national team helped me a lot to start this season this season off strong and like get rolling, and it definitely showed off uh, in the mid year invites in November. You have conference meet in about a month, and then obviously NCAAs. You've already qualified for NCAAs. Will you do any tapering for conference? Uh, well, I've been talking to Coach, and he really wants us to wants me especially to be ready for both meets. Uh, I mean, it's really important. ACC is really important for us. Uh, I mean, Virginia and North, North Carolina are really uh, great rivals, and also Virginia Tech this year. So. Uh, coach wants me to be ready for both meets, and I mean, whatever he says, whatever he says, I'll do, and I'm pretty sure he'll get, he's going to put me in a good position to swim well in both events. In what both do you meets. What do you think about that? Because we've seen that, frankly, in the past, where uh, guys have a great uh, conference meet, especially in distance events, but they can't repeat, you know, three or four weeks later at NCAA's the times that they swam at conference. Um. I mean, I think personally, um, as a distance swimmer, I don't really have to have that long uh, two or three week taper uh, to swim fast. And I mean, I, I think I showed that in November in Georgia Tech where I had less than a week of rest and uh, I swam two A cuts, broke the school record in the 400 IM. So I think if we follow like that uh, same plan uh, towards ACCs and NCAs, I think. I'll be fine, and I'll be re I'll be I'll be good to uh, have some good performances. Tell us about your swimming background. You grew up in Colombia, right? Yep. And, and what then, uh, what brought you to the U.S. other than swimming? Uh, I mean, I grew back. I grew up in Colombia. Uh, I basically lived there my whole life until I was 18. I went to an American school, uh, high school. So I mean, I I really I was really connected with uh, like. US, U.S. swimming, and I knew a lot about it. My cousin, uh, Andy D'Angulo, he's a coach down in Miami. He has a club team, uh, Miami Swimming, and I used to come and train with him during the summers when I was in high school and go to, like, junior nationals and senior nationals. So that's how I, like, started um, learning about the American collegiate system and uh, how I could, like, afford a scholarship if I could win a scholarship in some uh, universities. And then uh, graduating out of high school, I landed at uh, Indian River with Frank Bradley, and I spent there two years, and now I'm here. Why did you choose Florida State? I mean, it's just a great place to be. Um, the the program itself, the distance program, has been known uh, as one of the, I think, one of the best programs in the country for years in, in distance. I mean, yeah, you had great people swimming here like Kyle Young, Steve Lee, Ian Rowe. And uh, I mean, uh, now like myself, uh, I'm like leading that program right now, and we're gonna. We just got some new recruits in this year. We're gonna keep that tradition going, and just the school itself. It's a, it's a great place to be. It's a beautiful campus. Um, 
and just uh, the tradition. I mean, the seven old tradition is just great. All right, other than typical aerobic distance training, what is something unique about the way you train at Florida State? Um, I mean, I feel, I feel like uh, Coach Coach Taylor, he pushes in practice every day in different ways. I mean, we do we do some power work during the week, and but we also we also um, we also work a lot of threshold during the week. That's, I think that's our our main our, our main goal during the week is to see um, how well we can do in threshold sets, and then mix that in with some power and some uh, VO two max and lactate uh, one or two times a week. You mentioned earlier that uh, you had gone back to Columbia recently for some high altitude training. We don't hear too much about Columbia on the international swimming scene. You know, it's not exactly a big power player. What is the state of Colombian swimming there? Uh, yeah, you're right. I mean, there's there's not that much to be heard. Um, I mean, it's a small country. Uh, it's 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 developing its sports slowly. But surely they're going to get better. Uh, mostly the focus is on soccer, so like swimming is isn't really a big thing back home. But I think that during the past couple of years, more like five or six years, um, a lot of um, new and really good swimmers have come up. I mean, I mean uh, Omar Pinzone, he's from Florida. He's from Columbia. He had a great college career. I think he got second in NCAAs uh, his junior year, so he was pretty good. Um, I mean, I'm I'm here, and there are some other uh, swimmers who are at um, who are at, at, at um, SMU. There's a swimmer at SMU. Uh, there's some at Louisville. So I think uh, slowly but surely, the the level of Columbian swimming is is going up, and as more as as more people come to the states to swim, that's just going to make it make it better uh, for the country itself. Do you guys think you'll be able to put together any relays for London? Um, not for London, I don't think so. Uh, we don't have that, that the capability right now because we don't have a, a full quartet of, of, of people uh, to be able to be uh, to qualify for London in a relay. But uh, I'm pretty sure soon they'll, someone, a relay will, will be able to compete in the Olympics. And uh, the most important thing is to, other than a relay, just to send people to the Olympics. I mean, I know Omar is going because he has an A cut. And uh, there's a few... There's a few number of us who already have pretty strong B cuts that are looking, uh, looking forward to going and working towards going to London. Do you have any? What are the swimming facilities like in Colombia? They're pretty good. I mean, they're labeled as, uh, I think, one of the best in uh, South America. Uh, there's there's uh, pretty good Olympic sized pools with big stands. I know myself, like uh, in Cali, in Colombia, where, where I grew up. There, the facility that I train with was built for the 1971 Pan American Games, so it's a pretty good facility, and they've renovated like six, five or six times. So it's still a great facility to train in. It's a fast pool, and the great thing is that you can just fly out 30 minutes and go swim at, go do an altitude training camp at 8,000 feet, and then fly another 30 minutes and go swim at sea level. So it's, I mean, you get all the altitudes and the the, the facilities are, are really good. Well, Mateo, good to learn a little bit more about you and look forward to watching you in the collegiate season and at the Olympics this year. Okay, Peter. Thank you. All right. That's Mateo D'Angelo joining us from Florida State University. That is it for today's show. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.